It's me, Stacey Eberschlag, again, and now we are going to move on to our next step, which is posing out our um, character, picking up the prop, and also switching these on and off. And it, by watching what I do, it'll make more sense why we have two different um, balls of yarn in the scene. Okay, before I actually go any further, if you remember in our last video, we added a new peg. And I'm just going to go to that peg, and that was our master peg. And one of the things you'll notice is it has no pivot. So I'm going to just select this hand and open up this. And I'm going to take this information, peg information, from one box and paste it in the other. And that's basically giving me just the same pivot information from this peg onto that new peg that I created. And I'm going to start out by simply moving his arm back down, B, 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 and then hitting Shift R. And that starts it there. And now I can begin my paint, my posing. All right. I, I do a lot of basic um, animation in these videos, and, and I'm going to start by just doing a really simple um, start and finish position. And this will be maybe nothing more than I'll move his eyes. So we're looking over here. Maybe he's I'm going to take his arm and I'll simply turn his deformer on. Maybe I can even take these. Just pretend like it's, if there was a set of hips, that the hips would be shifting forward. Just... Okay, make sure that eye direction is working. I want it to look like it's looking at the hand. Alright, so there's my two main keyframes. Alright. In our next video, I'm going to add a little bit of breakdowns.